my name is Rebecca Kamen, I'm Professor Emerita at Northern Virginia Community College. I'm also currently visiting scholar and artist in residence in the Computational Neuroscience Initiative at the University of Pennsylvania. My particular chapter examines humanizing science from a, an arts and humanities perspective. I'm Ari Epstein. I teach at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in a first year learning community called Terrascope. And my chapter is called When an Engineer Tells a Story. And it's about experiences of students in a class I teach called Terrascope Radio, where they create audio stories for the general public. You know, and our chapters are nestled next to one another in the book too, which is very nice. Exactly. And it's because of you that I reached out to Christine and, you know, you reached out to me and said, I, I think your work would be perfect in this book. So I, I'm very full of gratitude. So thank you. We actually met at a lecture that I was invited to do at the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard back in 2011. The, the event that we met at is a seminar that is run by the Science Education Department of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. And uh, Rebecca talked about connections that she was making between art and science. Uh, I found that especially fascinating, particularly because I, I felt that she had found a way to grasp the emotion and the joy that scientists have in some particular concepts without having to go through the technical detail first. So, you know, scientists take great pleasure in uh, the beauty uh, of, of the work that they're doing. But for them, it takes a lot of expertise to really understand that beauty. And I found that Rebecca was finding ways to cut through that a little bit and to make at least some of that direct emotion accessible to people who maybe didn't have that sophisticated a scientific worldview. And that struck me as extraordinary and is really exciting. So we got to talking and uh, we've had multiple, numerous conversations since then, mostly about her work, which fascinates me. And that's, it's just been a wonderful collegial relationship going back many years now. Well, what I have found so exciting about it is I was terrified when I was invited to come up to the Center for Astrophysics to do a lecture. And I, I had no idea who was going to be in the audience. And this is really in the beginning of my art science practice. So it really was one of the inaugural events that I got to do. And I was struck by the amount of people um, in the audience and how responsive people were. And then later I come to find out uh, someone had come up to me and said, are you aware that the lectern that you're, you spoke from was the same one that Albert Einstein spoke and lectured here and you were sucking his molecules? Well, I was so glad I didn't know that prior to starting my lecture. But it was that um, receptiveness of the audience and people like Ari that really inspired me to um, reach out more to scientific communities. And, and that is really a, a large part of my art practice right now. I mean, I lecture to, to art students, but a lot of my practice involves uh, collaborating with scientists. What I've come to find is that scientists are very curious like artists and that we use our work um, and our curiosity to tell nature's story, whether it's a beautiful algorithm, whether it's, it's a, a program that we're setting up for students to investigate some type of truth and beauty, it's all the same. And so to find like-minded scientists like Ari uh, has really been very exciting for me.